Hi there, uh, let's have a look at uh, an example related to diffusion in semiconductor material. This is example 7.6 of your uh, book Calisar. Uh, in this example, uh, we are uh, given information about pre-deposition and driving uh, heat treatments in semiconducting materials. And we are asked to calculate certain type of parameters. As uh, uh, you know, the whole process uh, related to the doping or diffusing phosphor, phosphorus into silicon consists of two heat treatments. Uh, and the first one, or pre-deposition step, impurity atoms are diffused into the silicon, often from a gas phase. Uh, the partial pressure of which is maintained constant. Uh, the surface com composition of the impurity also remains constant over time. And uh, we use the solution to the second fixed law equation in order to find composition at a concentration at different depth and different time. In the second step, all we have uh, for a second treatment, we have driving diffusion, uh, which is used to transport, uh, transport impurity atoms farther into the silicon in order to provide uh, a more stable concentration distribution without increasing the overall impurity content. So let's have a look at the problem. Um, this problem, it asks us that uh, uh, we are diffusing boron atoms uh, into silicon wafer by both these two treatments that I just explained. The background concentration is very similar to the pre-existing concentration. In silicon is already known and it's equal to one times 10 to 20 atoms per meter cube. The pre-deposition treatment is uh, conducted at 900 degrees Celsius for half an hour. Let me see if I can use 900 for 30 minutes and uh, let me background concentration cb uh, this is the time of the deposition and we have 30 minutes which is the time of uh, pre-deposition we have 90 900 degrees celsius which is the temperature at which the treatment is performed uh, the surface concentration of boron is to be maintained at the level of uh, 3, sorry, right here, 3 times 10 to 26 atoms per meter cube. Uh, the driving diffusion is carried out at 1000 uh, degrees Celsius. Let me just go back to Driving diffusion uh, will be carried out at 1,100 degrees Celsius for a period of two hours. Uh, for the diffusion coefficient of boron in silicon, we have this value. So QD is given, D naught is given. We want to calculate the value of Q0. Uh, Q0 is found uh, using this equation. If you remember, that Q0 is the total amount of impurity introduced uh, during the pre-deposition and is defined as uh, this term in which CS is uh, surface concentration, DP is pre-deposition diffusion coefficient, TP is time of uh, pre-deposition. Um, this is known in the problem, yeah, because uh, CS is the surface concentration is known over here. We go back to the formula, TP, time of pre-deposition, which is 30 minutes, is, is known, but DP is not known. Uh, we can find DP using this equation because we have the time, we know the value of R, and we have the value of D0 QD from here. So the first step is that we calculate the value of DP and then we plug it in over here. So uh, the problem is going to be easy. Uh, we have these groups of given parameters. If I just go back to the problem, uh, I will uh, 
have a re review of where these numbers are come from. Mm. The first value is QD, which is 3.87. We have D0 or D0 is also known there. CS is given over here. We have TP, time of predeposition over here, 30 minutes. Temperature of predeposition here. DP is not given, and that's predeposition diffusion coefficient. Uh, the background concentration is given, as we just discussed. We have temperature for predeposition, which is 1,100 degrees Celsius, and the time is two hours that we need to change it into second, which is 7,200 uh, second, uh, for the value of driving diffusion treatment time. And uh, finally, DD is also not, uh, not given. So for Q0, we go to these steps. First, we determine the value of DP. D0 is known. This is the value. Um, QD is 3.87 electron volt per atom. Because we have QD, we don't use R. We use the value of Boltzmann constant with the, uh, the value that has a unit of electron volt per mole uh, degree, sorry, uh, electron volt per atom degree Kelvin, which is 8.62 times 10 to minus 5. And the predeposition temperature is in degree Kelvin, as shown over here. We plug them in, we can find the value of dp, as shown over here. The next step is to plug in the value of dp. And this equation, dp, dp, and cs we have, so we can find the value of Q naught. This value is shown here. Time of predeposition is 1800 second in second. Surface concentration is known. We calculate dp, therefore, we can find Q0 or Q naught, which is atoms per meter square, per meter square that is introduced during predeposition treatment. Now, let's go to the second part. We want to determine the value of Xj for the driving diffusion. Uh, you remember um, Xj uh, or junction depth represents the depth or the value of X at which the diffusion impurity concentration is just equal uh, to the background concentration of that specific impurity here we are dealing with boron in this select. Okay. So the value of xj can be found from this equation, as you see over here. So we need to know the uh, diffusion coefficient for driving. We don't have it, so we can calculate it from time, sorry, temperature, Q, D, R. Uh, of course, we'll use K and D naught. Time of driving is known. Q0 we calculated. DD we calculate from this equation. Time of driving is known, 7200 uh, second, and background uh, concentration. So we plug the same values as we just discussed over here. We have these values. We need to calculate DD. So after calculating DD, then uh, we just plug them in, and everything going to be easy. We can find the value of XJ.